So in last video, I announced my SAS and SCSS uh, a series on my channel and we also installed PrePros, which is a, a tool that we will use through this series. So now we should see first what is SAS. Uh, so SAS is one of the oldest scripting languages used to uh, be compiled into CSS. It is up and running for almost 14 years now. And uh, SAS is uh, also most used uh, side language for CSS. There are many more, but SAS is already spread through entire industry. If I would scroll down a bit, you will see that the SAS is highly stable and it is able to work with all versions of CSS. SAS also have a, and supports many features that we will explore uh, through this series and its community is vast. Here you can see that SAS also has uh, its own frameworks like Compass, uh, Bourbon and Sassy. There are many more, but uh, these three are mainly used. Those are there to make SAS even written faster and easier to compile and organize, as SAS is mainly tool for us to do just that uh, with our CSS. In this video, we, uh, we will also see syntaxes of SAS. It supports two syntaxes. One is called SCSS, which is easiest and most used one, as it looks similar to CSS syntax. There is also SAS syntax, which is just indented uh, syntax without uh, curly braces. Uh, let's see both of those, kinda. First of all, here I just have my index.html. Uh, there is simple content here with the title in my head and h1 of hello world and paragraph uh, which says uh, let's see how SAS or SCSS works. So now I could drag and drop my folder which contains this index.html into prepros. So I will do that uh, from my left monitor and here it is. You can see now the prepros itself. So there is a folder which is called code and inside there is just index.html file. So there are a couple of things that prepros could do for us, but uh, we will run with it also a local server. The local server of prepros will offer to us basically a constant running project in a background. So we could kind of whatever code we change uh, through our HTML or our uh, CSS or SAS syntax, uh, it will be automatically updated on our browser. To run a local server, we could just control L. Uh, control L will basically get our project and immediately you saw uh, how fast was it to run it on my browser. And here we are with just hello world and uh, let's see how SAS or SCSS works. So one more thing. Now next to my uh, index.html file I have this prepros.config file. If I open it up, uh, we don't need to do anything here. There is just a uh, well, many lines of code, but this is just the configuration for our prepros, uh, so it will, it will be able to run our local server, uh, check some uh, of our data, and also uh, to kinda compile our SCSS into CSS. So to start uh, working with our uh, SAS or SCSS, I will create my SCSS uh, folder. The, S, uh, we, uh, the reason why I'm using SCSS, well, we will use this syntax through this series. And uh, uh, there are two of those. I will show you both of those right now. So first of all, I will create my style.css scss uh, uh, file here. So here I could run some uh, code. For example, I could grab my h1, use curly braces and color my h1. Color could be set to red save now. So after saving I have this pop-up of success here at the bottom right corner. So basically uh, uh, prepros successfully compiled our code. So where it compiled it? Uh, immediately you will see the new CSS folder. CSS here will have a copy of my file which is style.css. Uh, there is just a different uh, affix at the end, right? So immediately our prepros uh, took the code from style.scss uh, style and compiled it into style.css. So in my index.html, now I could link my style.css file. So here I could use uh, styles uh, comment and just add a link uh, with href of css slash 
style.css. If I now save the file, you will see the immediate refresh on my right side of my screen, on my local host, and my H1 is red now. The reason for this is basically it pulled the red the color of red from my style.css. And as I'm running pre-pros, uh, and my pre-pros is running live preview, it will just automatically uh, change the uh, change the uh, values. So I could change here red to blue, save, and you will see that it after uh, compile is finished, my local host will be immediately refreshed once again. So this is the SCSS syntax with these curly braces. But what else we could use? I could use uh, my uh, my syntax like this. So yeah, I should put two dots here. And you can see the error here as basically it expected the curly braces because it's SCSS file. So let's change this style.scss and rename it to style uh, sass file. So now we won't have uh, we shouldn't have that uh, uh, issue with the code and uh, it will successfully uh, render my content. So I could now change here uh, color to red and you will see the change of my color to red. And if I use font size of uh, let's say 100 pixel and uh, it will immediately change my font size to 100 pixel. So this is the SAS syntax. Uh, it shows the error here, but this is just the Visual Studio code bug, nothing crucial for our code. So uh, you can see the syntax of SAS. Uh, we don't really need to use curly braces and end lines of our CSS properties and values. But this syntax could be kind of complex one, as if we would have now here, uh, let's say 100 elements, and uh, we style all of those here in this file, uh, code uh, will be uh, messy as we will also have a nesting in it, uh, medias, uh, then also uh, imports, uh, we will expand some files. These are all the features from uh, SAS and uh, you, will so, uh, you will see those in the future. So for purpose of this tutorial I will change my style to be SCSS now and also I will use curly braces here. So here and here. I will also end lines like this. So the look of my uh, uh, website won't change for now, but obviously my code is fully working. So we will use this syntax uh, to the end of this series as the CSS syntax is probably well known to you uh, as you work with CSS. Otherwise, we won't even look at this series. For now, this will be all for this video. And in next video, we will take a look into project management with SAS and also the imports one of the many features of SAS. Mm -hmm.